Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Now that we have created our shell script file and the build spec.yaml file, we will create a code build project that will build our Docker image and push the image to Docker Hub. To create a code build project in the management console, type code build in the search box. Then select code build under services. Click Create Build Project and give the project a name. For our code build project, I always like to name it the same name as our GitHub repository. So that way we can match our GitHub repository to the build project. So I'm going to go to GitHub and I'm going to select my repository, which is CICD Build Docker Image. I'm going to select the name and copy it. Once you copy the name, come back to your code build project, paste it in here. When you paste the name, make sure there isn't a space in the beginning there. Sometimes you have a space here and it will give you an error. So make sure there isn't a space here. Once you've given your project a name, we will give it a description. For the description, I have entered build project to build Docker image and push it to Docker Hub. Once you've entered your description, scroll down. We will leave all these settings as default, scroll down. Under source, this is where you will select where your repository is located. So I'm going to select this drop down. Since our repository is in GitHub, we will select GitHub. If you've already connected your GitHub account from the previous CICD project we did, your GitHub account should be connected now, so all you have to do is select this option. But if you are connecting for the first time, we are going to click Connect with GitHub Personal Access Token. Then copy your token that you created in the previous lecture. This is it, I'll copy it. And paste it in here. Once you paste it, click Save Token. There you go. We have successfully connected Code Build to our GitHub account. To see all the repository in your GitHub account, select Repository in my GitHub account. Then, if you select this drop down, you will see all your repositories here. The repository we are using for this project is the CICD Build Docker image. Select it and scroll down. We will leave these options as default. Scroll down. Under webhook events, if we select this box, that means that anytime we commit an update to our GitHub repository, it will automatically trigger the build. But we want to use the CICD project to build as many Docker image as we want. So we are not going to automatically trigger the build. So that's why I'm not going to enable it here. In the next lecture, when we use this project to build another Docker image and push it to Docker Hub, you will see what I mean. Then scroll down. Under Environment, select Manage Image. Then under Operating System, select this drop down. And we are going to select Amazon Linux 2. Then under Run Times, select this drop down and select Standard. Then for the image, select this drop down and select Standard Version 4. Under Privilege, remember when we were creating our shell script file, we removed sudo from it. But to allow our container to have sudo privileges, we will check this box. So this means that when the shell script is run, the container will have pseudo privileges. You can also see it here, enable this flag if you want to build Docker images. That's what we are doing. So make sure you check this and scroll down. Under service row, we will use the default name. Scroll down. Under additional configuration, select this drop down and scroll down. What we want to change here is, we will leave all these other options as default. But under environment variables, we are going to add the environment variables in our shell script file here. Then we will enter the actual values here. So let's open our shell script file. In my shell script file, I'll click the build image.sh. Here we have an environment variable image tag. So I'm going to copy it. Don't copy the dollar sign, just the name. 
I'm going to copy it and I'll go back to my code build project. I'll paste it in here. Once you've entered the environment variable, here we will enter the value. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Remember for this project, I said when you create this folder, whatever name you want to tag your image, call that folder the same name. So for the value of our image tag, we will call it TechMax. So that's what I'm going to enter there. Next, we will click add environment variable. Then let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, let's select our push image.sh file. The next environment variable we have here is our Docker Hub username. Copy it. Then we are going to go to our code build project and paste it here. So here for the value, we have to enter our Docker Hub username. To get the username of your Docker Hub account, go to your Docker Hub account and hop here, you'll see your username. So my username is AOS Note 77. So for the value, that's what I will enter here. Once you've entered the username of your Docker Hub account, click add environment variable. Then let's go back to our shell script file again. The next environment variable we have here is our Docker Hub password. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to my code build project and paste it here. For the value, enter the password of your Docker Hub account. Once you've entered the password for your Docker Hub account, click add environment variable again, and let's go to our shell script file. The last environment variable we will copy is the Docker Hub repo name. So I'm going to select this, copy it, then come back to our code build project, paste it here. To show you where to get this value, let's go to our Docker Hub account. In your Docker Hub account, select repositories here, then you will select the repository you want to push the image to. This is the repository I'll select it. You can see the first part of the repository is our Docker Hub username. Then we have already account for that value in our environment variable. The next one we want is this value, which is our repo name. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to my code build project and paste it here. So what I mean when I was showing you is it is going to use our Docker Hub username, which we already specify here, forward slash our Docker Hub repo name, which is this. So that's all the environment variables we are using in this project. Scroll down. Under build spec, our build spec file is located at the root of our project folder and it is called build spec. Let me show you what I mean. So our build spec file is located in the same folder as our project and we called it buildspec.yaml. When your build spec file is in the same folder as your project, this means that it is in the root of your project folder. And we also gave it the same name. So in your code build project, you don't have to change anything in here. Just select use a build spec file. This is telling code build that your build spec file is located in the root folder of your project and it is called buildspec.yml. If your build spec file is located in another folder, this is where you will specify the path to that folder and the name of your build spec file. But since our build spec is in our root directory, that is why we are selecting this option. Scroll down. We will leave all this other option as default. Scroll all the way down and click create build project. It is now creating our build project and will give you some time to finish creating it. There you go. We have successfully created our build project and you can see it here. Before we start the build, if you look down here, you will see the settings of your build here. So under build history, you will see all your build history here. You have the batch history. You will see the information here. Under build details, this is where you will see all the settings we selected. And if you want to change the setting at any point, you can change them here by clicking edit. The next tab is the build triggers and the final tab is metrics. So under metrics, you will see the metrics of your build here.
I'll scroll back up, then click build history. The next thing we have to do is start our build. When we start the build, the container is going to use the build spec file and the shell script to build our Docker image and push the image to Docker Hub. So once the build is successful, if I come to my Docker Hub account in this repository, I should see the image there. Let's go to our code build project and we are going to click start build. There you go, we have started the build. On that build status, you can see it is in progress. If you also want to check the phase of the build, you can click phase detail. And here you can see the build has been submitted. It was in the queue and now it is provisioning. This is the part where code build is creating the container. Once the container has been provisioned, it is going to use our build spec file and the shell script to build the Docker image and push the image to Docker Hub. I'm going to click on the build logs. And once the container is up and running, you will start to see the logs here. Let's give it some time. And there you go. The container has been provisioned and code build is now running the build spec file and the shell script file to build the Docker image. You can see here, it has run the command to install Python. If we scroll down, it has run the command to make our shell script file executable. If we scroll down, it is running the command to build our Docker image. You can see the output here. It is building the Docker image here. If I keep scrolling down, these are all the outputs to building the Docker image. So we will scroll down. So these are still all the outputs to build the Docker image. We'll scroll down. Once it has built the Docker image, you can see it is running this command here to push the Docker image to our Docker Hub account. If you look here, it successfully logged in and now it is pushing the image. If you look here, you'll see pushed, pushed, pushed. And finally down here, we have succeeded. So that means code build has run our build spec file, created the Docker image and pushed the image to Docker Hub. So let's scroll back up just to check something. I'm going to scroll up here. You can also see the build status is succeeded. Now, if we go to our Docker Hub account, I'm going to refresh in this repository. And there you go. You can see the Docker image in there. And this image was pushed into this repository a minute ago. Let's go back to our code build project. In our code build project, another thing I want to show you is if you select your code build project name here, it is going to bring you back to the directory of your code build project. For every build you run, you will see an incremental number here. For example, if we start another build, you will see another build up here. The build number will be two. And for the status, it will tell you whether it succeeded or it failed. This is all we need to do to create a build project that will build any Docker image and push that Docker image to Docker Hub. In the next lecture, I'll show you how you can use this build project to build another Docker image. If you have any question on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.